So yeah, this is my modular baby that I brought with me. Um, I just built this a couple days ago, and so I'm getting to know it now. And I brought it to Piff Camp to play with. Um, but what we wanted to do is we wanted to bring sort of a representation of what's happening now in modular synthesizers. <laughs> and what's really exciting about Eurorack, that's the name of this format, is that we gave people this format which we can all collaborate around. So we can all bring our little ideas to this central format and collaborate. So it's this worldwide collaborative uh, experiment. Um, and to be a part of that experiment, it just feels like such an honor. Today we did a workshop that was sort of trying to give people an immediate way to start building electronics, exploring sound, but then it's also can be integrated into modular systems. You can organize your parts, make sure you have everything. There's, it's an echo, you can process sounds, you can make bizarre sounds. It's sort of taking the concept of echo and sort of breaking it apart more. Um, and then people can plug it into their systems and start playing with the idea of connectivity. And that's a really it, you know, core idea of, of modular, which is that through those connections is where the exciting things happen. It's not one module. You know, Tina asked me earlier, what's my favorite module? And that doesn't, that doesn't exist. There's no one module, really. It's the way that the connections happen between modules. And that's, I think, something I said about PIF a year ago, that it's about the connections between people. That's where the exciting thing is, where two ideas come together. So I would maybe kind of use a piece and solder it to this leg, because okay. then that's a nice component to have it, and then lay it flat and make sure it's not touching either. Yeah, the, middle, the, the other two, yep. Well, building is always difficult. I mean, there's a lot of challenges and time, but that gives you a much closer connection to the like deeper soul of the creature and have a deeper and deeper understanding. Um, but you never fully understand it. That's, I think, the key thing. You should never strive to be the absolute master. You should strive to be a, the best friend of the sin. You make good guesses and then you work with what's there. I think that's a good modular musician, is somebody who can work with what is existing there and not just saying, I'm going to make a bass line and a beat. I mean, you can play it a lot of different ways, but it's better to just create the system and then sort of navigate through it.